<coughs> Fuck. <coughs> Are you good, sis? No, I'm not. <laughs> All right, lads. Once in a blue moon, these impromptu videos are really just giving me something to do. What I'm gonna talk about today has been on my mind for the past two days uh, because it's really, really like aggravated me. I'm gonna have a lot of very unpopular opinions in this video, but quite frankly, I don't give a flying fuck because I feel like I actually have a place to say what I'm about to say. So if you're not really um, up on pop culture, bullshit news, anything like that, or if you're in the Manson circle on Instagram or whatever, you'll know about this, but um, basically Glamour magazine have decided to publish an article about bisexual women <laughs> being more susceptible to domestic abuse. Um, I, okay. So the title of the article, which I have coincidentally to my left on my, on my laptop, uh, the reaction to Angelina Jolie and Evan Rachel Wood's allegations is exactly why bisexual women are more vulnerable to domestic violence. Let's discuss. I'm just gonna give a disclaimer. I'm not gonna talk about Angelina Jolie because honestly, I don't know anything about that entire situation. Are you gonna talk on it, Karis? Probably not. And then the subheading is it's creating an environment where bisexual survivors are less likely to seek support. And I want to start this off by saying, nowhere in this article are bisexual men. Only bisexual women. So there's certain sections of this article that I will go through. I've read the whole article. I won't link it in the description because fuck glamour for this. But they talk about uh, Angeline Jolie briefly, whatever, what's going on with her. Again, I don't... Of course, Amber Heard and Johnny Depp are mentioned in this article. Of course. Because, guess what? When all that started to un unravel in... Not unravel, but when things started kicking off in 2016, people started talking about the fact that Amber Heard's bisexuality made her more susceptible to domestic violence, which... So, this section is when they start talking about Evan Rachel Wood says another out bisexual celebrity, Evan Rachel Wood has recently faced a similar backlash after her accusations that ex-partner Marilyn Ma Marilyn Mason, that's his name, horrifically abused her, reached the headlines again. The similar backlash is people just saying that she's lying, okay? Spoiler alert, Brenda? She is. <laughs> Since Manson moved to sue the Westworld star following the outcome of the of the Heard Depp trial, the hashtag Justice for Marilyn Manson has received 1.5 million views, as it should. While I Stand With Marilyn Manson received 3.3 million. Meanwhile, a recent Twitter post about Wood read, she's arrogant, hefty, deceptive, manipulative and seems to hold on to a lot of hate. A lying, toxic feminist. Um, the feminist part is... Listen, right, side rant, feminist. The word feminist has become such a dirty word. I consider myself a feminist. Could you not believe that? Because I really do consider myself a feminist because if you look at the <laughs> description and the definition of feminism, it's advocacy for equal rights. Feminism is not turning around and accusing every single man of sexual assault if they call you darling or love or whatever. No, I advocate for equal rights between men and women. I advocate for women if they have been unfairly treated. And guess what, Basil? <laughs> I also advocate for men who have been wronged, which actually men are being wronged more than women in today's society. And I'm sorry if you just don't like that fact, but it is a fact. Another thing that I hate about this section is that they love to make out as though Marilyn Manson decided, spontaneously decided, to sue Evan once the Amber Heard and Johnny Depp trial finished. That's not <laughs> what happened. He actually dropped the lawsuit. Well, the lawsuit made the headlines on the 2nd of March. The trial hadn't even started yet. Tell me. Tell me that. <laughs> Tell me how that makes sense. Following the outcome of the Heard Depp trial, it's making him sound, it's making it sound like he is trying to get sympathy, public vote. He doesn't care. On his, I mean, uh, to an extent, obviously he would care because I think anyone would if you're being lied on and the whole world thinks you're a certain kind of person when you're not. 
that is not what's going on. And I, so I saw that insider said the same thing. And that is what absolutely enrages me because that's not what's happening. Later on in the article, they start talking about how bisexual people are more vulnerable to being abused. And apparently it's all based on set stereotypes and that bisexual women are insatiable, deemed untrustworthy, all of this stuff that I personally, in my opinion, I think is absolute bollocks. Yes, yes, bisexual women, we like everyone. <laughs> we like people. Most people, let's get that clear, I won't just go and w whatever. Yes, I do think there are a certain amount of people who do have those kinds of stereotype, uh, stereotypical opinions on bisexual women. But there's a lot of people who treat straight women poorly. There's a lot of people, there's a lot of lesbian relationships. Can we talk about the amount of lesbian relationships that have a lot of domestic violence against, like, in, involved? We don't, do we need to go down the rabbit hole of how many toxic gay relationships are out there in the world? The current conversation around bisexual celebrities like Angelina Jolie and Evan Rachel Wood can be incredibly damaging, creating an environment where bisexual women who may be survivors are portrayed as jokes and monsters. See, here's the thing, Evan Rachel Wood does make us look bad because she's lying and she's a joke and she's a monster. And if you've, if this is the first video of mine that you are watching, I suggest you go and watch my other videos. I've talked about Evan Rachel Wood and how toxic she is, how much of her behavior is being ignored. And speaking of being ignored, there is not one section about men male bisexuals in here. And let me tell you a little story about, a little little tidbit about bisexual men. I know there's a lot of bisexual men who won't relate to this, so I'm not saying that all bisexual men are like this and has happened to this, whatever. I'm saying that the percentage, oh my God, the amount, the amount of bisexual men who aren't even accepted as bisexual is astonishing. You find this kind of dichotomy of too straight to be gay and too gay to be straight. That happens more in the community of male bisexual people. I couldn't tell you why. Maybe it's some weird toxic masculinity business. I could not tell you why, but it happens. But no, we're gonna talk about bisexual women because we are in an era in which we infantilize women and we're all victims, helpless victims, and we can't fight for ourselves. That is the era that we are in. This is compounded by the fact that LGBT plus people are already unlikely to access outside help when they experience this kind of abuse. Current studies estimate that 60 to 80% have never reported such incidents to the police or attempted to find advice or protection from services, which Morris believes is partly due to the risk of facing additional stigma and prejudice. Those who have chosen to reveal they are bi, she says, can be treated with high levels of hostility by the other women there. And if they have been assumed to be heterosexual and it later comes out that they are not, then they can be accused of having deceived people. Okay, hello, let's talk about that. Then it is not only people in the LGBTQA one, two, three, four plus community. I'm sorry, I just think it's way too long and I, don't, and I just think if you need to start remembering each letter, why the fuck bother having labels in the first place? But you know, it is what it is. It's not just queer people or people part of that community who experience abuse and don't report it. And I think it's very degrading to people who may not identify with, with those labels, okay? It's why are we just separating these groups and making and painting them to be vulnerable? Okay, so what I want to say, and this may be a bit teetering uh, the edge or across, kind of straddling a line here, but my interpretation is that they've never reported it. It's how the fuck are they supposed to get help if you don't report it? I understand not wanting to report it. I understand that entire thing because I did the exact same thing. I didn't report my abuse. Mostly because I was eight, but you know, whatever. Um, <laughs> but I, I get it, I understand that, but you can't use that and say, oh, it must be a bisexual, a gay thing. No, 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 no. What about all the articles about 
all the straight women who won't report who were what about all the straight women who were report abuse that have been written about relentlessly this is exactly the same kind of article only it's about in the context of gay women and not straight women it is it's just it's just nitpicking all these cases of of women not being believed when they say they're bi and and the the, the idea of deception who cares if someone is saying that to someone then they're just a dick it's not a, it's not an entire it was not an epidemic you know what i'm saying you cannot expect every single person in this world to treat everyone fairly because there are people who are utter assholes and that's just that's just, just the, 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 the that's just the way it is it sucks but we can't live in a place or a utopia that doesn't exist because it's not pragmatic it's not realistic to try and go for oh my god what's happening it's not realistic to try and push this perfect world because not everyone has the same opinions not everyone acts the same not everyone has the same morals and whilst that may be unfortunate in some circumstances you can't do anything about it there's going to be people who discriminate against minorities there's going to be people who discriminate against people just because they fucking want to and there's nothing you can do about it. You can't, every time it happens though, you can't turn it in to an epidemic or a, 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 a trend or blame, try and blame everyone. It's not a situation of it's their fault. We need to take a stance. Women, woohoo, shut up. That's not it. Here's something about the LGBT community. The B, which stands for bisexual, is the largest group of people within the lgbt plus community but whilst it's the largest it is also the most invisible and let me tell you something a majority of bisexual people not just women not just men who are facing some kind of discrimination on on or who have faced discrimination guess what it's all come from fellow lgbt plus members very rarely will you see a bisexual person discriminated against for their sexuality by a straight person or a cis person or however you want to bloody describe it. A majority of the abuse comes from people within their own community and that is a fact. The most horrible people I've ever come across who have attacked me or made me um feel bad about my own sexuality for all being gay men and i love the lgbt community okay I, I love it i love what it stands for what i don't love is this entire gatekeeping that goes on so this article glamour glamour absolutely loves to create a victim complex okay this world at the moment that we are living in thrives off of the victim complex and how I see this is that we are now infantilizing women, trying to create victims. I want to leave you all with this. I, a bisexual woman who has been through sexual abuse, physical abuse, verbal abuse, mental abuse, emotional abuse, all the nine yards, whatever, the, what is the saying, nine yards? I don't know. I've been through almost every single type of abuse that you can imagine. I am not a victim. I, as well as many other bisexual human beings on the planet, can hold their own ground. They can defend themselves. They can fight back. So I do not appreciate being spoken for. Do not call me a victim. I'm not a victim. I'm not, I'm not a victim of anything. All right, I'm not going to conform to this victim narrative that the world has, that the, the mass media and activism in general has pushed. I've had enough of being compartmentalized into a, a victimhood. I hate the fact that the people who are wanting to advocate for equality are actually the people creating the divide by victimizing these certain groups of people. Bisexual women, we're just women. 
Bisexual people are just people. Sexuality has absolutely nothing to do with being abused. And if someone abuses you because of your sexuality, then that's their problem. It's not, like I said, it's not an epidemic. It's not something to, to, to create a massive activist thing about. No. A bisexual woman accuses a man of abuse. She's not believed. Oh, it's because she's bisexual. No. Writing articles like this encourages the public to not think for themselves. And listen up, Brenda's. I strongly dislike Evan Rachel Wood. I do not believe a word that comes out of her mouth. And guess what? She has said in an article that I've read somewhere, it, it, somewhere on the internet, I'm not gonna get it, because just if you're that passionate about it, go and look for it yourself. I'm really, I'm over it. <laughs> She said that being bisexual has helped her career. Because guess what? Being bisexual in the 2000s, early, late 2000s, if you're a woman and you're bisexual, it helped your career because it made you seem more interesting. And whilst on some levels that is messed up, people have actually used it to their advantage and good for them. If that's how they want to build their career, that's fine. Evan did that and now she's probably regretting it because she regrets everything that she's done in her early 20s and late teens. And now she's turning it, turning it into, oh, I'm a victim. Because the way that she was treated then for being too rambunctious, as women kind of were treated then, it, that's not happened anymore. She's achieved the, the equality. We've achieved the equality. And now she's not a victim. So you need to, so she needs to go and nitpick at things, as well as every media outlet at the moment, nitpick at things to try and create the victim. And I'm over it. And I'm not here for it. So honestly, I don't know if any of that made sense. I hope that you know what I'm trying to say. It just enraged me because as a bisexual woman, I don't appreciate being spoken for as a victim. I'm not a victim. And there's loads of women out there who are really annoyed and upset with this article. Whether it be about Evan Rachel Wood, Marilyn Manson, Johnny Depp, Amber Heard, Angelina Jolie, I don't care. Anyone, you are creating a victim figure out of bisexuality. And I am not gonna sit here and let that happen. I mean, it's not really much I can do, but I'm not gonna sit here and keep my mouth shut, cause tell you that much. Anyway, <laughs> sorry I've not been posting that much. I'm trying to get my head back together. I'm going back to uni, oh God, like a month and a half, in a, in a month and a half, and I need to sort shit out, my head. <laughs> my head's just a mess. But I'm all right though, I'm all right. But yeah, I hope you. I hope you're all doing uh, fine. I know things can uh, got a bit hectic for a moment, but I think things are starting to, to calm down. As always, please like this video, subscribe, watch my other videos, share them about, and go and follow my Instagram. That'll be in the in the description. Um, and stay beautiful, stay strong, and stay true. Marilyn Manson is innocent. Evan Rachel Wood's a liar. It's not because of her bisexuality. And yeah, justice for Marilyn fucking Manson. <laughs> okay, bye.